Okay, welcome back to Deb's Home Studio, DK Beauty. I am going to um, show you guys the technique for the gel bottle flashing pigments. I did mention that earlier in my video um, with the gel bottle e-file. What I have on my nails right now is the moonlight flashing pigment, but I did know that I had to do a couple of nails here, so I'm gonna use the onyx, which is just slightly darker. So for these two, we are gonna go slightly darker. Now, it's probably kind of hard to see that flashing. I will do a shot of that with a light on it afterwards so you can truly see how beautiful and stunning this is. Um, but while I'm doing the video, um, we're just going to work through this and I'll show you guys how easy this is. Now, the nice thing about these being flashing pigments versus a flashing gel in a bottle is that this is going to be denser. It's going to be more amplified, more intense, um, because it's literally just the pigment on its own. So it is a lot of fun. Um, probably something, if you guys like the flashing pigments, I know it's really trendy right now, this is a great way to have the really the boldest kind of flashing pigments. Okay, we will get started in just a minute. So I have already prepped my nail in advance. I have done my cuticle work with my Skyver and I have pushed back the cuticle, of course. We've removed the shine. I've used a combination of my newfound best friend, my uh, gel bottle, electric file, the pro model. And as well, I'm just gonna use this beautiful little moon shape file just around here and just to make sure our nail is um, all nice and prepped and we've removed that shine. So that's pretty good. So now what we're going to do is just appear acetone as per the gel bottle instructions just to clean the nail plate. So just on a wipe off and off and there we go. That is prepped. We don't have any primers or anything else to use with this line which is really quite easy and convenient. Makes things a little bit faster. Now, if we wanted to, we could use our BF, so Builder in a Bottle, we could use a BF just to add extra strength. If we don't need that extra strength, in order to do this technique, we would just go in with one of our gel bottle um, top coats. Now, we have Extreme Shine. There are some other top coats we could use. I'm gonna be using Extreme Shine for this. If we did want to, I am going to show you just a really quick layer of a little bit of strength beforehand. Um, with my nails today, I would be good just to go right in with this, but I'm going to show you that other little step just in between. This is an optional step. I know how popular and how trendy that the rubber base is right now. Oh my goodness, we cannot keep the rubber base in stock. So a uh, really popular item. I'm going to apply, like I say, I've just cleaned the nail and I have used my pure acetone just to dehydrate and clean. Now we're going in with our rubber base. And we're just going to do a nice thin layer of rubber base on here. Okay, that's, that will be it. And we're going to cure that with our gel bottle bo uh, gels, we always want to use a 60 second or the um, slow cure with the 99 second just to avoid any heat spikes. But we definitely want to be curing our gel bottle for 60 seconds. Now they're light, we really recommend if you don't have one, you should have one. If you are using the gel bottle, absolutely. It is a custom design to cure their gels properly. It is so important for a lot of different reasons that gels are absolutely cured properly, especially those lower layers. So do ensure that you have your gel bottle lamp, 48 watts, which is, that's actually a very high wattage in this industry. And as well, it is a custom design made just to cure their gels properly with a different angle right at the edge to make sure that the free edge is always cured properly as well. So we're just curing here, and then I'm gonna show you how to apply our BF. BF, now in this case, because I don't necessarily really need to be building, I'm just gonna apply like a nice 
layer just to give that little bit of extra strength. And we're just going to float that over the nail. We don't want to touch the cuticle, of course. Nails 101. And okay, there we go. If you did happen to need a little bit of extra strength in there, what you can do is just take a little bit of gel and you can just float it into this area upside down, float, and good. No cure. Okay, that was our 60 second cure. I did it 60 seconds because it was such a thin layer. I'm not worried about any heat. Um, let's wipe that off. And just pure alcohol is actually what the gel bottle recommends. And now all we need to do is I just want to smooth the surface out. We can do this with our electric file, but I didn't actually put a lot of gel on here. So we can do it with a hand file, we could do it with a buffer, we could do it with electric file. Entirely your preference. And as I said, the B up is just to add, it's builder in a bottle. So we're just adding that strength to the nail. We don't need a lot, we're not doing a full build out. And when you're happy with that, we will be good to go. I think that's pretty good. All right, let's wipe that off and then we'll be ready for the final magic. Okay. So we're gonna use our Onyx. As I said earlier, it's a little bit lighter in tone, a little bit more black to it. Ooh. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Wow, I don't know. Can you guys see the sparkle in that? Okay, so this is a really easy technique um, with these pigmented um, flashing powders. So I'm going to use my Extreme Shine Top Coat. And all I want to do over this uh, prepared surface is I'm just going to take some of this. I'm going to brush it on. Not too thin of a layer because we do want to make sure that our pigments are picking up but we also don't want this to be flooded or dripping but we do want enough on here okay so just kind of like a nice layer like that nice and smooth and even now what we're going to do is we're going to i'm going to put my little card under here yes that was for a reason and i'm going to just take this and i'm going to there we go all right, so this is just my little spatula. And you notice how we're not wasting anything. Obviously, we want to make sure that we're not concerned about any kind of, you know, nail diseases or anything. If that was the case, then I wouldn't do that. But okay, and there we go. See? Can you see that? Woohoo! Oh, tiny bit on that edge. Let's get that one too. We want to make sure that we're kind of covered all over here. But can you see what my card is doing? My card is actually capturing the overflow of the powder. Okay, we're gonna do our cure. We're gonna do 60 seconds on just um, the regular intensity, or you can do your 99 seconds if need be on the slower cure with your gel bottle lamp. Well, that isn't gorgeous, is it? So let's just use a dust brush. I do have a gel bottle one and I would actually prefer to be using that right now. I didn't bring it home to my home studio though. So uh, pick yourself up one of the, it's it's super, super cute. And um, anyway, we're going to use this one for today and we're just going to dust off any extra pigment there. Once again, we're just going to use our shine. And over everything here. Let's grab that side. Let's grab this one, this one here. Oops, a little bit too much there. Okay, there we go. We're ready. We are going to go into our light. Once again, 60 second gear. Okay, now all of your gel bottle, you can see all of your gel bottle top coats, they are tack free. So every one of them, they are all tack free. Little 
tiny bit of extra powder on the side here that we're just going to remove. All right, and just kind of, um, just because we're working with loose powder, that can happen. All right, so that's looking pretty good. I'm going to wipe this off, not because we have to wipe it off because of a surface, just to remove if there are any extra little bits on there. Um, okay, I'm going to finish up the other nail and we will be back in a minute. <laughs> 